Hi everyone and welcome to Studio de Sol. My name is Lina and today's video is going to be another episode about polymer clay. Today I'll show you how to make a complex polymer clay cane. So let's get started. If you want to support me and my channel, don't forget to hit the red button, like this video, leave a comment down below, and let's keep going. As I already mentioned, today I'm going to be making the complex polymer clay cane, and for the pattern of that cane, I decided to use the gel. Gel is the Russian style of the blue and white ceramics, and it takes its name from the villages and the area it was first found and produced. Gel is an art painting, has a lot of different elements and I decided to pick just one just to make it less complicated. I decided to pick the flower and also that art painting is usually made in a blue and white colors and the different shades of blue, mostly it has like a little bit of the gradient and I'm gonna be doing that today. Here's everything I'm gonna be using in today's project. It's mostly gonna be different tones of the blue also, I'm going to be using a lot of white color. Here I also have some of the patterns I'm going to be using in the end to make the earrings out of it. And for the first element, uh, for the Skinner Blend center of the flower, I decided to pick this bright blue color and we're gonna do the Skinner blend. I think I'm making the Skinner blend almost in all of my videos so by now you're supposed to know how it's going. What I'm doing, I'm conditioning both of the colors. It's supposed to be the same amount of the blue and the white clay. Then I'm shaping them into squares and slicing them diagonally and attaching those cut sizes to each other. Then I'm flattening the piece a little bit so it easily goes into pasta machine. And then I start running it through pasta machine and each time I'm bending this in half and that's what's gonna help our colors to mix and create that Skinner blend. And here's what I got. This is how my gradient looks like. Then I'm folding my piece into a stripe looking shape and running it on a minimum thickness through the pasta machine. In the end it comes like a little ribbon. And now I start twisting it. And I start from the white color because the white color is going to be the center of the flower. Then I'm shrinking it a little bit. Also, I have that draft on paper that I'm going to be using. Um, to compare the size and if I'm going according to pattern. Also here from the same cane that I made the center of the flower, I'm gonna be doing the top of the flower. I just made it in a two smaller cane. All right, I put that aside and now I'm making those petals that are gonna be on the side. As you can see on my draft, it's a little bit darker than the center. And for that, I'm again need to make the Skinner blend and for that I'm taking the bright blue color and the darker blue color. I'm making them of the same shape, again slicing them diagonally, attaching the slice sizes to each other and running through pasta machine until the colors are mixed. Alright, I again flatten the piece into the ribbon. So now I'm folding it little by little, not to miss out our gradient. And in the end, I'm getting a piece looking like a little brick. And I'm gonna stretch this gradient widthwise and I'm doing that gradually, just pushing little by little and stretching the piece of clay. That's a little brick that I got and now I'm just gonna get rid of those corners and shape it into a circle. Thank you. 
and this is how the cane looks like as you can see the flower has four petals of different sizes on each side and for that i'm going to be dividing the cane into two equal pieces of each size like here i put the biggest petals now i'm again stretching the cane a little bit and cutting out two pieces of a smaller size and in the end i have four little pieces for each side for each of the petal on each side and here i'm making those little drop looking elements that are going to be on our pattern for that i'm just shape the clay into the string and then i find each string in just squishing one of the sides And it's time to assemble our cane, our flower. I start from the center. As you can see, I pushed the top, one of the sides of the cane a little bit in, inwards and adding on the top part of the flower. After that, I added the layer of the dark blue color around it and start attaching the petals. I start from the largest and going down, I'm gonna reduce the size. Alright, everything is attached. As you can see, I added a little bit of another extra layer of the petals because it wasn't enough. Now, using the white clay, I just wrap it around to kind of like separate the pattern. And also, after I added the first layer of the white, I'm adding all those light blue elements on the sides and also covering them with the white clay. The white color helps to add that definition because otherwise the colors would smear. Right here, I'm also adding another flower element on the bottom. For that, I used the same cane that I used for the center of the flower. I just squished the sides. It's gonna be four petals on each side again. And in the center, I'm just gonna add the white clay that has um, encrypted like dark blue color. how my cane looks so far my camera died here but i added the black little swirls little disclaimer i should have not done that because on a drawing you see how they like straight and looking nice but with the clay it's really hard to be that precise to create those swirls filling in all the gaps with the white clay so the pattern stays inside and it's kind of like preserved from being damaged. For that, I'm filling all the gaps to make this white clay around. See, all of the elements are preserved on the spot with the white clay.
this is how big my cane is now and now little by little i start shrinking it i'm starting from the center and pushing it outwards and this is how the largest cane looks like on the inside everything is good besides those little black swirls uh, they not looking good well at least i don't like it how they look and i keep reducing the size keep shrinking the cane because i show you those patterns in the beginning i need the size of the cane that would fit into those patterns and after that i'm just slicing the cane adding on into the patterns and baking everything to secure those pieces of clay inside of the patterns, I'm removing them from the patent and applying the glue on the bottom and attaching the clay on top. And here's my final results. Let me know in the comments below if you like how the earrings came out and the pattern in general. The complex canes like that are pretty hard to make and to shrink them properly, but if you practice enough on the smaller canes, it's definitely possible. As you can see, mine is also not perfect, but I'm keep working on them. And this is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the red button, like this video, and we see each other in the next one.